how's it going everyone and welcome to another tech video now in today's video we're going to be showing you how to screen mirror your android device to your pc now this is particularly good if you want to share a tutorial for example like we do when we're doing pokemon go videos if you want to watch movies on your monitor or if you just generally want to share your screen with anybody else whether that's on stream or just recording or even just screenshotting things so we're going to show you how to do this for free and there is also a paid version as well so to start out, you're going to want to go to the description below and click on the link there to get you to Tenorshare Phone Mirror. Now, this is going to give you access to download the software either for free or buy it now. And then basically what you're going to be able to do with this software is mirror your Android screen and display onto a bigger screen. So basically onto your Windows PC or your Mac. This is available for Mac and Windows. However, it is only able to mirror Android devices. If you have an iPhone, unfortunately, you will not be able to mirror your screen using this software. Now, you can also control your Android uh, phone from your PC using your mouse and keyboard. Now, this is dependent. With the device that I have, I don't have this option. However, certain Android devices will allow you to take control. You can also take screenshots and record Android screen on PC directly, and you can share content between Android and your PC or Mac. So let's get started by clicking the free download button. So once you're downloaded, be sure to go ahead and hit the phone mirror icon on your desktop or wherever you have it saved to open up the software. Then all you're going to want to do is simply connect your Android device to your PC using a USB cable. This should detect it as soon as you plug it in. So mine is a Redmi Note 9 Pro and it's detected it instantly. So if yours does not appear here, go ahead and look at how to enable USB debugging on Android devices. This tells you exactly what you need to do to allow it. For my phone, it automatically came up with the option to um, access this or to accept this as USB debugging. However, if it doesn't, here is the steps right there. Now it's recognized mine straight away. So all you're going to want to do is basically click on the play button or the, uh, the screen button right here. And then it's going to take you to my phone screen. As you can see, the screen is clear. You know, the quality is very good. I do have the paid version. I have a uh, month subscription to this uh, service. And basically what you can do on here is when you go up the top, there is hide the screen mirror, so it basically hides the whole window. You can then uh, optimal uh, window size. So mine's at optimal already. So if you did make it smaller, you can basically pop it back to where it should be. Uh, you can pin it, so it's always pinned on top, you know, so anything you're doing behind won't affect it. Uh, this is particularly good if you are doing something behind the scenes and you want this to be on your recording at all times. You can obviously minimize, maximize. Maximize just kind of moves it around slightly doesn't make it that much bigger but it does if you want it to have a little bit of a boost in size apart from that you know there's nothing really you can do about making it a uh, certain like full screen on this section here because your phone of course is in that mode what else you can do on here is you can screenshot so you can take a screenshot and there we have it you can copy that paste that wherever you like you can also record your screen so now it's recording when i'm moving my screen around and then here's your recording you can copy that which will save it to a location you can also screen off mirroring. So you can just turn your screen off on your phone. That's if you've got the uh, capability of actually controlling the device. So I can control some of it, but not a lot of it. So it doesn't really work if I'm swiping or clicking on each folder. However, if your Android device does allow that, then this will be perfect. So you can save a little bit of um, you know screen time on there. So you can just have your screen turned off. Also, you can screen lock. So you can just lock your screen as well, which is really uh, a handy tool. And then you can unlock it just normally. So lock screen just turns my screen off, basically. So why would you use this? Well, there's many reasons you might want to, to go ahead and use this software. And one for me, really, is when I do my Pokemon Go videos. Now, when I'm doing Pokemon Go videos, I sort of have my camera um, on. So I'll be in the picture here. And then, of course, across here will be the Pokemon Go game. So when I'm playing the game, you'll be able to see exactly what I'm doing. Now we've done a few videos like this using software similar. I have found that this is very responsive. So once I sort of uh, am moving, it's going instantly. There's no delay. Uh, there's not really any kind of lag or anything at all when I'm opening folders, closing folders. It's exactly the same. It's like I'm literally using my phone. For me, 
I would have liked to have been able to just control my phone, but my phone is, I mean, it's pretty old now. It's just a, a sort of a gaming phone that I have, um, something that I bought just a, a long, long time ago to use. So you can use this. So let's open up an app. So let's have a look at Destiny, see what we've got on our characters. So as you can see, it's quite good. You can just scroll up and down. Uh, let's take a look at my Titan. I've been working on this, so no, no judging. But you know, if you want to just go through and share your builds with people or or generally just um, share some information, you know, you might want to show someone your fate bringer time last, you know, whatever you've got on there. So there's definitely um, a use for screen mirroring, especially for content creators. It's really a, a must have if you're doing any kind of mobile gaming content. Uh, a lot of people will tell you that. So it's really simple, you know, and easy to use. It's free to download. And, you know, I, I just think if you can try it out, give it a try. And then if you want to buy the paid version, you can just click sort of buy now on here. It will take you to the um, the paid versions or the paid uh, page. And then you can just literally buy it and get your code. Like I say, I do have a paid version for one month. Um, but I mean, 1995 is not bad, really. You know, if you're going to use it uh, as a content creator to get, um, you know, your content down on the PC and on uh, YouTube or wherever you're going to post it or Twitch, um, I believe you'll probably make the 1995 back with one video. So with the paid version of one PC up to five devices, it does auto renew, but you can cancel at any time. So even if you sign up for one month and then don't use it again for a little while and then sign up again for another month. But of course, for a year, you might as well just go for the $39.95 and get the whole year because 20 a month or 40 for a year. I know which one I'd go for. I would go straight for the year and I will be getting the year um, license for this because I am impressed with it. Um, this is not a sponsored video. And this is not a video where I have to tell you it's good. This is an honest review of this. And I really think it's great. Like I say, the only thing for me is the controlling the um, the phone. I wish I could just literally do it with my mouse. But I can't. It just doesn't let me on my phone. But let me know in the comment section below if yours lets you. You know, Let me know how you're getting on. Um, if yours actually does let you do what you uh, want to do on it. If you can click and play games. I mean, keyboard and mouse playing games on this would be absolutely incredible. Especially if you've got something like, you know, Call of Duty or something like that. You know, we have PUBG here. Call of Duty, Raid Shadow Legends is just a general game. Genshin would be probably good for this. You know, there's plenty of other games you can play as well. Now, there are plenty of other features. So taking a look at what comes with it and what's free, you can go to the settings tab here. Uh, you can have it auto start. A uh, notification pops up when closing the program. You can have that as well, whether to close it or to actually just minimize it to the tray. Now, when it comes to resolution, you can select different resolutions here. When you get to 1080p, 1920p or original quality, that is a paid version. So you need the paid version to do that. But you can go up to 720, which is not bad, which is pretty good for YouTube and stuff like that anyway. Frame rate, you can have 30 frames per second on free and 60 frames per second on the paid version. That again, with a mobile phone, doesn't make too much of a difference. And then the bit rate, you can put the bit rate all the way up to 20 megabits per second if you have the paid version. So this symbol here means paid and basically anything without that symbol is included. You can then pick your uh, output format for your screenshot. So I've got mine set as JPEG. Um, you can have a uh, no watermark, which means you know, you've got the paid version. There is a slight watermark with um, the free version. But you know, that's nothing really to worry about that much. I wouldn't worry too much on that. Um, you know, unless it's really uh, something that you don't want to have the watermark, but it might be good to give them some, uh, some, you know, a bit, a bit of recognition for the company here for creating some free software. So I have no watermark on because I don't want the watermark on mine. And I do have the paid version, uh, screen recording format MP4 for me, because that's the most used file type. And then you can see where you save it to. So there is a lot of things that are free, you know, 720, 30 frames per second, eight megabits per second on the bit rate, uh, JPEGs, you know, all different file types for screenshots. You'll have a slight watermark, but hey, you know, MP4, pick where you want to save it to. And, it, and it's incredible. It is really good piece of software. I'm super happy with it. And I wouldn't uh, recommend it if I didn't use it. And you'll see in my next few videos, actually, I've got a few videos coming out where I will utilize um, this software. So guys, take care, stay safe, download link in the description below. Be sure to hit the like button and I'll see you all in the next video.